Welcome back everyone and uh, I want to show you how to do a little work on the bearing here. Uh, so I got to start a new sketch or a new drawing, new IPT. It's going to be inch IPT. Uh, got to go new, standard IPT. And on this one, uh, I'm going to start out real simple. Start out on my XY plane. Let's go ahead and put this circle right in here. That circle is a two and a half. Now this is in your book as well, folks. Two and a half diameter that way. And I come right up above it, catch the center of it and bring that right in. And it's going to be uh, 0.75. Now that's the diameter. So we'd have to double it. That's radius here. So this would be 1.5. And then we got to locate it. So from here to here, we notice it's supposed to be three and a half from both. So I do three and a half divided by two, gets it centered. And then I can go off this one and catch this one should be three and a half. Looks good so far. <clears throat> Dimension, I'll catch this and this. Everything's looking really good. Uh, now we'll go in there and we'll start putting our lines in here. So... I'll put me a line over here, hit tangent there. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just take and start here and just come up here and you'll see the little tangent. And then I will constrain it down here at the bottom. I'll hit this and then hit this, hit this and then hit this, just like that. And I could mirror it around at this point if I want it to. Um, Looks pretty good so far. All that come into tangency. But I'll show you once again. I, I don't touch anything down here. I just come out here and I come up here and I hit. And you'll see the little tangent symbol. I don't touch anything up here. I do the same thing. I see a tangent symbol. And uh, of course now constraint, tangent, hit your circle, hit your line. And it will bring it in. And it kind of shifted it. It's okay. We'll fix it here in just a second. Shifted it again. Oh, man. You're like, what in the world just happened? Uh, we'll go in here and dimension this thing. And let's get rid of this one. It didn't constrain it the way that I wanted it to. And that's okay. This one should be 1.75. <coughs> and... Uh, the only other dimension I have to do here is get this lined up. And right here should be zero. You all see that? See, I use that to kind of manipulate it and get it constrained back to where it needed to go. So all that now is cleaned up. You see how the lines turn to blue? So everything looks great. So finish my sketch up and uh, extrude it. I'm going to extrude this thing a half of an inch. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put the rest of this in there. And it's, it's quite simple. Um, just touch that, put me a circle in. I'll catch that point right there. Bring it all the way out till it touches that. Finish that sketch out. Uh, extrude. And it's going to shoot up here one and a half because we already got the base on it. Now it's just uh, putting in our the rest of our stuff. We've got to put our, uh, this bore, counter bore right here in this thing. Uh, different ways to do that. I'm just going to do it like this. I want to use a point and finish. And now I want to use my hole command and modify. And on this one, uh, it'll be a hole all the way through. And that hole that's all the way through this thing, it is one and a half. All right, so we got that all the way through. Now I want to do a counter bore. 
and right here's the seat counter bore and the counter bore of this thing is two inches so hit two and of course uh, it should be two right here okay that one right here is a one and a half kind of got things off there a little bit um, this right here yeah we've got them off bad let's fix it my computer's bouncing there's two and then this one right here and the depth of this is going to be one quarter of an inch now that looks better so hit okay on that that looks a lot better now do you another sketch around the face of this do you a couple points real quick I want to assume it's in the center of that radius. Three and a half. It would have to be. It is. So finish that out and, of course, go to hole command. It grabs that right off the bat. Hole, no seat in this. And that hole, well, it is. Hang on just a minute. It is a counter bore. Y'all see that? It's a three-eighths inch with a five-eighths inch counter bore, eighth of an inch deep. So we do need to go back to counter bore. We just got to go and specify a few things. The counter bore is 5 eighths. The depth of it, you see the depth symbol right here, that's that little depth right here, is 1 eighth. And then the overall diameter going all the way through is 3 eighths. Perfect. And then you've got a hole in it right here, and I'll show you something we've done in the past. Is come up here to, to plane, and hit your plane, and come over here and find a plane that's close to it, like that. And now if you just come over and hover over it, it'll put it right on the side. We could have went from the inside out. It didn't really matter. But whenever I click on it, I can go in here. I'm just going to do a hole, catch the center point, kind of triculate down to that point and the hole is three eighths dimension it from the bottom is what it's showing and it is one and a quarter and should be right on the money so when i extrude this i'm eyeballing it here i'm going to turn it around cut through this thing make sure it's on cut i do not want to go all the way through it that right there looks like it's far enough, not going to hurt anything, so hit OK. And right there it is, folks. If you all have any problems with this uh, or uh, have any issues with it, just contact me and I'll help you.